here's what I want you guys to imagine. Imagine a normal world where all of a sudden you can't hear anything. You're the only one affected by it. Everybody else doesn't seem to notice that you're affected by it. They're still having normal conversations, laughing and joking, but you're the only one who can't hear them or understand them. You're having a problem. Now this right here is the world that deaf and hard of hearing people face when they're not around other deaf or hard of hearing people. You guys can open your eyes now, by the way. <laughs> now, the deaf world can be a very challenging place, but knowing a little ASL can help those who are deaf or hard of hearing, just make it a little bit easier for them. And that's what I'm gonna teach you guys about today. Now, I know there might be a couple people out here are thinking, well, it's someone who has like normal hearing and nobody in their family is deaf or has hard, like, hard hearing can teach you about such a culture. Well, I took two years of it as a foreign language in my high school, and during those two years, I was also able to uh, come in contact with a couple of deaf people in my community back home. So I was able to talk to them, establish relationships, and learn a little bit more about their culture through that. So today, I'm just gonna teach you a little bit about deaf culture, and I'm also gonna teach you guys some signs to help you better communicate with someone who's deaf or hard of hearing in the event that you come across them. Now, first thing you guys need to know is that sign language, completely different from English. That there are ways for you to communicate back and forth between the two. It makes it very easily, very easy. But if you were to just walk up on two deaf people who are signing and having a conversation, you wouldn't be able to understand them at all. The same way that if they were to just walk up on you and someone else having a normal conversation with your voice, they would be completely lost. All right. So, one of the biggest differences, obviously, is that sign language is done with the hand. So like in English, like expression is done through your voice with the volume and the pitch and the tone of your voice. So if you're angry, you might be more stern or quiet or loud with it. Now in sign language, it's done with the size of your signs. So if someone who's just talking normally might have their normal box of talking like this. But if they're really excited or really angry, their signs might get larger. And they're also through body language. Now their eyes are always connected with someone. So they're always gonna be talking right here. But when they're, they're, using, they're gonna use their face to express stuff and their bodies. So when someone's angry, they might lean in close and use their face to show an angry face to you. But when they're happy, their expressions are usually over-exaggerated. That's the main part about like, sign language. And this right here is the same thing that I gave you for your handout. This is the ASL alphabet. It's all done with one hand and it's simple letters. And this is what you use to uh, spell out things that are like formal names or something, like McDonald's or your own name, things like that. Other than that, you usually use a sign for it. You, don't, you try not to spell things out in, the, in a sign language. And on top of uh, their language being completely different, their culture is different too. They are a society within a larger society. And as you can see in this picture, this is like a gymnasium at some school and they're having some type of assembly. And it looks normal, right, until you look closer. You see these two people right here. They're signing to each other at this assembly. So everybody else is talking normally, having a great conversation, and they're able to talk to them, like talk between the two of them, just using sign language. And then on top of being able to just talk to each other, carry things on like this, they have their own culture and clubs like that. Like there, are, there was a club back in my hometown, Kissimmee, where people who are deaf or if you even knew sign language, you just probably go and have a conversation with them. We were able to go, usually like Friday nights kind of thing, they, were just, like, they would have obviously loud music because they can still hear when it's extremely loud. And they just have conversations, drink, chat, eat, do all that kind of stuff. And they also have their own jokes, their own games, and even art and poetry. And some of their poetry, it's not conventional poetry like what we do, like rhyming schemes and stuff like that. Theirs are more plays on words. So like they'll actually take the word and spell it out through poetry, it's, it's pretty cool. So like, uh, I'll show you guys one actually. It's uh, pretty interesting, you guys probably aren't gonna get it, especially since you don't know sign language right off the bat, but it goes like this. Now what you guys kinda couldn't see is that I spelled out reflection. As you saw, it was a reflection between the two going down. And that's their kind of poetry, that's their kind of thing. And when you actually go out and appreciate it, you get it when you see it, it clicks and it sounds amazing and you like see how beautiful it can actually be. 
And in most societies, you may think that like deaf society is gonna be hard for them and like live a normal life, live like without any assistance. Actually, most deaf people live normal lives with almost no assistance. They still have normal jobs, they can drive themselves, all that kind of stuff. And if they do need assistance, it's usually minor. Like they don't have like hearing aids or if it's more severe hearing loss, they'll have a cochlear implant, which is pretty cool. Or they could just have a deaf translator for them. Someone who's hearing and knows sign language and translates to them. Now, now I'm gonna teach you guys a couple of signs just to help you out in the event that you do need someone who's deaf or hard of hearing and you need to try and communicate with them, whether it's at a job or just outside. Have a good uh, little chat with them. The first thing that you need to know is the simple things that help communication so much. So like, first thing is getting their attention. So who here thinks they know a way to get a deaf person's attention without being rude? Why are they tapping them on the shoulder? Yes, this is not rude at all. Just tapping them to get their attention. Great way. Another way, it's just a wave at them. Get their attention, make, uh, make them bring their eyes to you so you can talk to them. It's not rude if, if someone's like, looking away from you, you need their attention. It's fine to get someone else to tap them. Tell them to talk to you. And then also, what since most of us here don't know sign language fluently, when you actually introduce yourself to them, First of all, say your name, like you're nice to them, be more formal, and make sure that you tell them up front that you don't know a lot of sign language. So just tell them like, you know, I don't know sign language very much. And they'll, they'll know that, and that'll help them understand and go away from actually using real signs and using more classifiers and descriptions to tell you and explain things to you and ask you for your help. And also when you're talking to them, just like in a normal conversation when you're listening to someone, Make sure that you engage them and just nod a little bit when you talk to them. It encourages them, lets them know that you're understanding what they're saying, and continue on. Now I'm going to teach you guys a few signs, just to, some actual signs just to help you. Start with some of the basic things. You and me, simple things. Just one, number one, just point at you or me. All right, and then yours or mine. Taking a hand. It's yours. That's yours or that's mine. So like my friend, stuff like that. Of course, when you're trying to say someone, tell someone your name, you know, you know, my name. This is the sign for name. It's two fingers. Tap them lightly. And then uh, simple things to help people with directions are go to and come from. So go to, both hands are ones. You leave it off to your dominant <coughs> side go to. Or if it's something that they can see, like go to the corner, you point to the corner, go to. Go to the door, go outside, away, or come from. It's just the opposite way. You turn your hands in and bring it to you. Uh, <clears throat> know and don't know. Simple ones begin for when you're trying to tell someone that you know something you don't know. Know is take, close your thumb, all four fingers up, and bend them halfway down tap on the inside of your head. I know that. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I understand you. Or you don't know, like you're about to tap it, like, uh, no, I don't know. It's not in there. Don't know it at all. And um, <clears throat> when you're trying to, like, if you're at a store or working with someone, and they're asking, like, where something is, and if it's in the back, or you have to go get it for them, tell them, wait, like, yeah, I know where it is, just wait here. Wait here, stay here, I'll go get it. And then also, come with is just like a simple come with motion. Follow me. And then also, once you help someone or you're asking someone for their help and they help you, of course it's always nice and polite to say thank you, right? Simple, take your hand, tap your mouth, give it to them. Thank you so much. Which is also the sign for you're welcome. Kind of like in Hawaiian, aloha is hello and goodbye. Thank you, you're welcome. So, now that I've taught you these simple signs, you know, it should be able to help you guys because, again, the hearing world, the deaf world is completely different. The deaf can be very challenging when they're not around other deaf people. So next time that you see someone who's deaf or hard of hearing, don't be afraid. You know, go up, talk, go up to them, talk to them, create some connections that can break down some barriers and help people. Thank you guys very much.